we've had our morning meeting. The crew's been assigned their work for the day. I've been assigned one of the preventative maintenance routes. I launch the app here on my phone. It just opens up in a browser. Uh, when I, after I sign in, I'll be able to see the inspection list that I'll be doing. It's got all the equipment listed and all the components out of the inspection. This particular route is for some conveyors up above uh, the forming area. It's all the feed conveyors. I'll uh, begin the route just by launching the, the inspection and then I'll head up to the equipment. All right, I'm up here at my first piece of equipment that's on the route. Uh, the inspection is gonna cover the motor, the V-belt drive, the gearbox, the chain drive, and the uh, conveyor itself. Uh, just for the demo purposes, I'll start with the inspection of the V-belt drive. When I'm in my app and I click on that group of questions for the V-belt drive, the menu expands and you can see all the questions that are listed there, the tasks that I need to perform. Uh, just for example, I'll click on belts, which has me inspect the condition of the belts, make sure they're running straight uh, on the equipment. So I'll do that inspection. And uh, when I'm satisfied, I'll click on acceptable. Uh, and after I do that, the green, uh, the air, the circle up at the top right hand corner will be filled in with a green check mark. That'll uh, indicate that the inspections uh, question has been answered. And then I just scroll down a little bit and click on next. Uh, when I do that, the next question opens up automatically. You'll see that's in having me inspect the sheaves and the keyway. I'll do that inspection, make sure the, uh, nothing's worn and that everything's running properly. And then I'll mark that question as acceptable and click next. And when I do that, it'll automatically open up a set of questions for the gearbox. It just goes straight on down the, down the equipment to the next uh, component. The gearbox has several questions associated with it. One I want to do just an example is the oil level and condition. You can see that question has me check the uh, oil level and condition either through a sight glass or with a dipstick. This particular gearbox has a sight glass. Uh, I'll do my inspection here with my flashlight just held up next to the uh, sight glass. And just for an example, we'll say that I don't like the color of the oil or perhaps I see some sort of contamination uh, on the app. I'll mark that as not acceptable and I'll click next. Uh, question five asks me to record the temperature across the gearbox, looking for the highest temperature and recording that. So I've got my hour temperature gun. I'll just measure by scanning across the gearbox, making sure I'm getting the bearing housings where the, where the bearings are. And then let's say that the highest temperature I've recorded is 115 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll just tap on, tap, tap on the line where that uh, measurement goes and it'll open up the number pad automatically. And then I just type in 115, hit return, and then next, and it answers that question. So after that, uh, it'll bring up the questions for the chain drive and the conveyor. There are four questions associated with the chain drive and 10 with the conveyor. I'll go ahead and do those inspections and continue on with the route. All right, I've done all my inspections for the first conveyor and the app is just pointing me down down the line to continue the inspection. But as I was doing that uh, inspection, I noticed that I'm walking right past this fan. This is a carrying fan for the material reject conveyor. And to me, it would make sense to do this inspection now so that I don't have to make unnecessary steps later on. That'll speed up the, the next route. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll make a note of this equipment number and then make a recommendation that we do this fan at this point of the route.